Welcome back to my garage. This is just a quick video showing you how to make a capacitive clamp for your do-it-yourself dyno project. With the Arduino PCB you can get from me, link in the description, or your own design. It's really simple, I'll bring you in close here and I'll show you a few ways you can make the clamp. So this is the sensor I'm using and uh, it's a guitar cable or a microphone cable, shielded. The shield and one of the leads, it's a two lead cable, is connected to ground on the bike with this little clamp. The other lead has this clamp and it clamps around a spark plug cable. Now you don't have to use a clamp like this, it works just fine, maybe even better to just wrap the wire around the spark plug cable. Then you have some control over how large of a capacitor the capacitive clamp is and you can use fewer wraps if you get spikes and more wraps if you get a bad signal. Coax cables like this one works great too. Just wrap the inner lead around the spark plug cable. You might want to use some zip ties or uh, tape or something to keep it stuck on there. That's it. Doesn't have to be fancy at all. Just a wire wrapped around the spark plug cable. Or a clamp if you want. Make sure you use a resistor spark plug and maybe even a resistor cap together with the resistor spark plug. If you're running the resistor spark plugs and spark plug cap and you're still struggling with spikes, first try to mount the grounding further away from the ignition system on the bike. If that doesn't help, try to make a separate ground wire. So don't run a ground wire in the pickup lead. Run a separate wire, connect that to the negative on the Arduino board, the other end to the bike and connect the shield of your sensor wire to the bike, but do not connect it to the Arduino. Okay, this was just a quick one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.